Hi, I'm Dr. Dave. Ethylene, EUPAC name, ethene, is the chemical compound with the formula C284. It is the simplest alkene, because it contains a carbon-carbon double bond. Ethylene is called an unsaturated hydrocarbon or an olefin. It is extremely important in industry and also has a role in biology as a hormone. Ethylene is the most produced organic compound in the world. Global production of ethylene exceeded 107 million metric tons in 2005. To meet the ever-increasing demand for ethylene, sharp increases in production facilities have been added globally, particularly in the Gulf countries. This hydrocarbon has four hydrogen atoms bound to a pair of carbon atoms that are connected by a double bond. All six atoms that comprise ethylene are coplanar. The H, CH angle is 119 degrees, close to the 120 degrees for ideal SP square hybridized carbon. The molecule is also relatively rigid. Rotation about the C, C bond is a high energy process that requires breaking the AND-960 semicolon bond while retaining the AND-963 semicolon bond between the carbon atoms. The double bond is a region of high electron density, and most reactions occur at this double bond position. Ethylene is an extremely important building block in the petrochemical industry. It can undergo many types of reactions which leads to a plethora of major chemical products. A list of some major types of reactions includes 1. Polymerization, 2. Oxidation, 3. Halogenation and hydrohalogenation, 4. Alkylation, 5. Hydration, 6. Oligomerization, 7. Oxoreaction, and 8. A ripening agent for fruits and vegetables. Ethylene polymerizes to produce polyethylene, also called polythene or polythene the world's most widely used plastic. Major polyethylene product groups are low-density polyethylene, high-density polyethylene, polyethylene copolymers, as well as ethylene propylene coanterpolymers. Ethylene is oxidized to produce ethylene oxide, which is hydrolyzed to ethylene glycol. It is also a precursor to vinyl acetate. Ethylene undergoes oxidation by palladium to give us acetaldehyde. This conversion was at one time a major industrial process. The process proceeds via the initial complexation of ethylene to a PDII center. Major intermediates of the oxidation of ethylene are ethylene oxide, acetaldehyde, vinyl acetate and ethylene glycol. The list of products made from these intermediates is long. Some of them are polyesters, polyurethane, morpholine, ethanolamines, aspirin and glycol ethers. Major intermediates from the halogenation and hydrohalogenation of ethylene include ethylene dichloride, ethyl chloride and ethylene dibromide. Some products in this group are polyvinyl chloride, trichloroethylene, perchloroethylene, methyl chloroform, polyvinylabine chloride and copolymers, and ethyl bromide. Major chemical intermediates from the alkylation of ethylene include ethyl benzene, ethyl toluene, ethylanolines, 1, 4 hexadiene and aluminium alkyls. Products of these intermediates include polystyrene, unsaturated polyesters and ethylene propylene terpolymers. Ethanol is the primary intermediate of the hydration of ethylene. Important products from ethanol are ethylamines, acetaldehyde, and ethyl acetate. The primary products of the oligomerization of ethylene are alphanolefins and linear primary alcohols. These are used as plasticizers and surfactants. The oxo reaction of ethylene results in propionaldehyde with its primary products of propionic acid and N. Propyl alcohol. Ethylene is useful in organic synthesis. Representative reactions include Diels-Alder additions, N reaction, and arene alkylation.
Thank you for listening. Goodbye.